are singing the trees are are whistling and so and to be able to share an organized uh, or a systematic version of that is very fulfilling because I started playing when I was playing out when I was two years old so that's that's what brings uh, or keeps the joy flowing for me I like to think of myself as a um, as a pretty good teacher. Um, when it comes to the discipline side of it, um, very serious and I take it very serious. Um, but it's the love and passion and not the, oh I'm trying to be tough and hard on you, but it's the discipline. I enjoy the process of learning an instrument, um, learning um, the sounds, because you know, for example, the drums, uh, it's a lot of voices, but it's one instrument. And to allow the beginner to see how you make uh, the kick drum, versus the hi-hat along with the snare, I tell them when you speak, you, you say, when you say a word, you say word. You know, it's not word. So, you know, the kick drum is not super loud. The hi-hat is not super soft. It's word. It's sound, snare drum. And I really enjoyed just the process of the infancy and seeing them start and crawl and, you know, Sometimes years later, you see students that are well accomplished and gone on to do some really, really phenomenal things. So in teaching uh, more advanced uh, uh, pre-college, college adult professionals sometimes is the humbling it makes it makes me more humble because it's like they're good and some of them have you know from a drummer's perspective they have more chops but to hone it in and become a trainer so to speak and develop show them how to okay change this technique a little bit so that you can have so that you don't wear your body out physically so much uh, and it's a it's an easier way to play you know so that you're not just really uh, doing damage to the body. I tell all of my students, um, yeah, I'm teaching you this particular instrument or this particular discipline, but what I'm sharing with you 
is so much bigger than the instrument. You know, um, it's good to see, uh, have taken guys that have, have uh, been a tech and then they start playing and then they have a tech and then they're overseas and they're experiencing uh, long days, uh, break times and just being the, the watching them become professional and, and thriving and having a successful career. Uh, that's very fulfilling.